morning from New York, it's Easter week and I just woke up at Park Lane Hotel, uh, right up front Central Park you see right now, and I'm going to a class this morning. How cute is Lion Friends? I'm going to see the shop later on, but right now I'm going to class here, the Lion King. Here a flashback from yesterday after landing, we went to Lower Manhattan and tried this uh, ice cream, I can't pronounce the name, here it is, and uh, I tried this super Instagrammed one called uh, Charcoal, ice cream it was okay not my favorite things in uh, new york here i am this morning at broadway dance center for a theater class one done and now i'm in times square wasting some time because my next class is in an hour and a half is a uh, floor work and I'm he drinking this matcha latte, I love this drink, a free stone espresso nearby. I'm back to Broadway Dance Center waiting that uh, the class before mine is uh, over. This is a ballet class, they are great dancers, everybody have this great technique. I kind of lacking that but I'm working on so that's good. Final is night number one and we're going to see a show we pick the newest one called Kinky Boots. Look how many show they have been doing in Broadway. I'm wearing my Kinky Boots tonight and I'm ready for show time. Mwah! Man, I'm just a mess. I got it. My bug is killing me. Get out of the stress. Uh huh. And the three to the two to the one. Yo, Jason, my song is done. Back to the hotel, I'm trying this t-shirt I receive as a gift from someone special, it says sex is in the boots and uh, up front there is the kinky boots from the show. Now your mama raised you better than that. Please, someone give me a sleeping pill. Good night. Hi, good morning from New York City. I managed after a half hour workout with Quickie to make this beautiful organic breakfast in uh, the best room service probably, actually the best room service in New York. I managed to make these myself, uh, buying things from Whole Food Market. So there is a salad with manchego cheese, which is raw, and is a sheep uh, cheese. A nice uh, mixed salad with uh, uh, free range eggs. This is from Who Kitchen, and uh, we get the juice from Who Kitchen through this one. And I make it as a base for this uh, smoothie bowl. So we have green tea water from Fiji water, and this beautiful breakfast from New York for the moment. It's all. Bye bye. Buon appetito. And this is a great aerial view of the goodies. After breakfast, I took this cute picture for Instagram. It got a lot of likes. And then we hit Central Park to enjoy this sunny day and drink this beautiful juice from Press Juice. was my favorite place in New York City because it's the only one that I found organic. Oh. Hi. So this is my first my favorite uh, juice place in Manhattan because um, I noticed there is a plenty of juice place but all it is is organic which is a big deal because if you drink a juice and smoothie and the process process with the juicer you're gonna drink the pesticide which is not good so here they're proud to be organic and my favorite juice I had this twice now is the Hawaiian that has pineapple banana mint and ginger so I actually remove uh, maple water I don't know why they use maple water here but just make sure you ask to remove that so you don't have like, uh, any extra sugar in it we took advantage of the beautiful sunny day and we walked in the Upper West Side and at lunchtime we came across this place, it's called White Gold Butcher. They have uh, fresh meat, uh, grass fed, organic chicken, organic prosciutto, we, had, uh, we, we saw like cheese, organic cheese, everything was natural, uh, antibiotic free and they have a great menu, it was really cold that day so I get a chicken broth, someone else get a hot dog and then I had this roasted half chicken with the green sauce. After lunch I met my second cousin from my hometown in Italy. We got some matcha tea and then we hit Soho for some shopping. It's finally Easter day today and uh, I just discovered before to come to New York that they have this tradition where everybody show up in, in uh, beautiful hats and they take pictures with each other, uh, people dress their dogs and uh, it's just a cool 
time to be in New York because Fifth Avenue, where I'm working right now, is uh, close to traffic. So only you can you can only work here. <laughs> St. Regis Hotel. I just passed also Trump Tower, and everybody have beautiful costume, but some people don't like that. Jesus, he rose again. So we have costumes. He rose again. So we have costumes. So when I research online before to come to New York, uh, they say that this is a spontaneous event, so don't ask when and where, people meet uh, by chance, and the whole purpose is everybody taking pictures with everybody, and there is uh, people dressing their dogs, their kids, some are beautiful, like this hat was my favorite, then there is some creepy one that we saw, like this one, I didn't want to ask many more, more questions about it pretty interesting I guess and kind of weird at the same time then there is girls dressed in a team like these two girls and two other friends everybody happy to showcase their costume I don't know how long they take to make these hats say oh yeah oh yeah say ooh ooh we decided we had enough and we went uh, uh, nearby at the MoMA Museum. These are some of the selected uh, uh, pieces of art that I enjoyed, even if I don't think I understood them all, but uh, there were some interesting Italian painting and some more famous one, Picasso. This was a multi-sensorial sensorial art, which I really like. This is Van Gogh, everybody know it. And uh, this was cool installation that created a shadow with an art. There were a whole section called Club 57 of performance film and I'm going back to this in a second but this is something, ooh, what if, so what? Um. This was very cool because it was about light, it was about sound and you can be part of it going in front of the projector and there was a duality, light and dark. I really like this part. In fact, I took a picture for my Instagram too. So this is the film performance and art section called Club 57. It was underground. They have a lot of posters of uh, old burlesque and uh, dancer and some creepy piece of art like this one, which is kind of cool at the same time. And I found a room that's glowing in the dark and I had some fun. So I made a little show and I made myself a little piece of art inside the museum. And da -da -da -da. thanks for watching. I'm just kidding. After all that dancing and walking around town, I was really hungry. So we hit uh, Cook Kitchen for an organic meal, grain free, mm. and I had some room for dessert. So here we go. So this is my favorite gelato in America. It's so Italian and it's organic. Can you see me? <laughs> I just woke up in New York and from the from the window I saw white everywhere and I'm like whoa it's snowing it's snowing we go out and play with snow in New York City I love the snow today is time to go in the upper east side for some shopping in Madison so we probably gonna take a cab because it's snowing crazy. Wow, right? <laughs> the snow is better from the cab. We're going to Santa Ambrose to have a beautiful cappuccino. Mm, I had it in West Palm Beach and it was the best. So, and then we're gonna eat here, Madison Avenue, for some cool shopping in the Upper East Side. So in the way back to the hotel, Park Lane, in front of Central Park, we discovered this place. 
which is actually pretty cool. Uh, they have a lot of um, uh, snacks and also sweets and coffees and tea shop and the pizza rollio is organic. The only organic pizza I ever saw in New York, but maybe there is more. There is a creperie inside here and uh, it's kind of like a, a food uh, court, but a little more upscale and have some unique uh, restaurant kind of like Italian and uh, French and mostly so coffee shop with a lot of pastries and um, it was a good uh, uh, stop and um, a good place that I want to show you because you may don't have all the, the dietary restriction I have and you can enjoy this place. Mm. Can you believe it? Today is my last day in New York City for this week. This is day six. I've been here for a long time. I feel I'm a New Yorker. This is Rockefeller Center and it's a nice day. He, can, can you believe it? Yesterday was snowing. We get very lucky. We had one day of sun, one day of rain, one day overcasted and today is kind of like sunny mixed with clouds and a, a day of snow so we got them all. That's nice from John Rockefeller. I hope he really believed that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I found finally a good matcha tea, cha cha matcha. We're gonna go try it now. This was delicious. Finally, matcha tea I like in New York City. After not one but two matcha tea, I bounce around at the Line Friends store in uh, Times Square. I didn't know these characters are from a game, but I really like them. They have this huge head, and look how cute this picture is. I actually lost my flight in order to take this picture, but they were worth it. Thanks for watching.